I am, and I was, uh, I couldn't find any. Uh, and then, then I realized, uh, then realized in my new, new poems, in my new, new selected, I have a poem for Allen Ginsberg, uh, which this seems like the, the right place to read it. Last words. Uh, and it's, it's a poem that lists a number of famous last words and some less than famous last words, and uh, it, it moves toward Ginsburg's last words. <clears throat> last words. I suspect that most are banalities, and the more touching for being so. Like, remember to feed the dog or the incoherent products of drugs and pain that are left unrepeated, or something childish, something mumbled, help me, my brother said, and continued suffering the anonymity of the not famous. Last words belong to the famous, and some, like Gertrude Stein's or Goethe's, seem rehearsed, so witty or so plaintively profound, we recite them as we might great lines from their work. Gibson's, on the contrary, is one of my favorites, along with Pancho Villa's, don't let it end like this, tell them I said something. But what is it about Ginsburg's, I'm tired and I have to go to sleep, that moves me so? Is it the suggestion of completion, of nothing left untasted, risks taken, a life fully lived? His great incantatory howl behind him he slipped into history with a declarative sentence. He who had unmuzzled a generation, jazzed it, sent it careening forward. 